In today's video, we're going to take a look at the latest DV feature, which is the DV Builder Page Creation Workflow. Today's tutorial is brought to you by dvcake.com. Check out their huge selection of DV themes, plugins, and layouts. The link is in the description below. Okay, so let's take a look at this latest DV feature, which is the DV Page Builder Creation Workflow. Right, so right now I'm just logged into my WordPress dashboard and I can see here there's an update. So I haven't tried this before. I'm just going through this for the first time. So let's uh, go through it together. So if I come over here to updates, I can see that I have a few plugins that need updating and also we have here the DV theme. So I'm just going to go ahead and update this. Okay, so our theme has been updated. Uh, right now, I won't worry about uh, the plugins because we need to go to the main thing that uh, we need to cover on this tutorial. So let's go ahead and create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here and click on add new. Okay, so let's give this page a name. So let's call this update. Okay, so I'm going to click on use the Diffy Builder and then I'm going to go straight to my Visual Builder. Okay, so this is the new workflow. So the first one here is build from scratch. So this is where we get to take a look at um, putting all the elements that we need for our page. And this is how things were before the update. And then over here, we have choose pre-made layout. So now this is easily accessible. Whereas before, you had to go all the way to the bottom of the page, click expand settings, and then click the plus button to browse the layout. And then over here, we have this very interesting one, clone existing page. I think this saves a lot of time because currently, or before this update, there was no option to really clone an existing page. All you had was using uh, global settings. Okay, so um, let's see how this works. So I'm going to click on uh, browse layouts, and this takes me straight to my pre-made layouts, which I think is fantastic. So I can always come here, choose a page. And let's see, we're going to go with this one. I'm going to click on choose layout. Okay, so let's say this is my page. I'm just going to delete this section over here because I don't need that. Uh, let's publish this page. And remember, this page is called update. So I want to see how this actually works when it comes to cloning it. Okay, so I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to exit the Visual Builder. Okay, so this is our page. And as you can see on the top here, it's still, it's called update. Now, let's add a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here, click on um, page, and then let's call this page update 2. Right, so I'm going to click on use the DV builder, and then we're going to go straight to the visual builder. And this time, I want to clone. So I haven't used this uh, feature right here, so I'm actually interested to see how this works. So if I click on choose page, wow, so this is fantastic. So now this, has list, this is now listing all the pages that I have on my website. So let's take a look at um, the update page. So here it is. If I click on update. Okay, so as we can see, it clones my page. And let's say I don't want to use some of these elements on this page. So I can go ahead now and delete what I don't need and leave the stuff that I need. So let's just make a few changes here. Delete. And for matters, we'll delete this one here and that. Okay, so let's say this is my page. So you can see how quickly I was able to clone a page and remove the elements that I don't need. And now if you want to go in and make further adjustments, you can always go in and tweak the text or even the images. Okay, so this is looking good. So I'm going to click on publish. Now, um, let's see what happens if we create a page from scratch. So again, I'm going to come over here to new page. So let's call this page new page. Use the DV Builder, use Visual Builder. Fantastic. Right, so if you want to build your page from scratch, you can just click on Start Building. And then now we don't have any elements here on the screen, and this is where we get to start designing our page. Okay, so we can start adding all our modules and elements. However, this doesn't mean that you still don't have access to your pre-made layout. So let's say you want to add your pre-made layouts. All you can do is to come over here to expand settings. And as we did before, we can just load them from the library by clicking this plus button and we can choose our pre-made layouts. But pretty much what it is, is it's um, three ways of actually designing your page. So I think this is fantastic because we still have the option to start your page from scratch. Because if we didn't have this option, that means that every single page we build 
will have to start from a pre-made layout, which could be annoying. But in this case, this is fantastic. Right, so let's say you don't want to be greeted by that page creation workflow. So what you need to do to disable it is to come over here to these three little dots. And then we see here now that we have page creation workflow. And then it says, give me a choice. So this is where it's giving you a choice from those three. And then if I click this drop down, you can make your default build from scratch. Now, if you, go, if you choose build from scratch, this will work like how the builder worked before this update. And then you can also choose load pre-made layout or clone existing page. But in my opinion, I would leave it here at give me a choice where you can just start off the page with whatever option you go for, whether it's a start from scratch or pre-made layout or clone a page, because those are the things that you need when you build any page on your website. So I think this is a fantastic um, update. So uh, go ahead and update to Divi 3.6. And also, just another, just another note, if you want to roll back to Divi 3.6, now it's possible to roll back from this latest update, 3.7 down to 3.6. Today's tutorial is brought to you by divicake.com. Check out their huge selection of DV themes, plugins, and layouts. The link is in the description below. Okay, so this does it for today's tutorial. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notification. This channel is all about web design and marketing, so be sure to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.